having that type of woman who is independent and take care of their own business and their own children, mm -hmm. does a man become intimidated by that? That's what I said to you. You said you want your woman to be accessible. Is that what you're saying? Yes. It's, it's not intimidating, but at the same time, if you want a certain man, he wants something. He, who, who don't have nothing going for themselves. Not, so you put, you make they it, can't have nothing going for themselves because they have He's to looking for you to get on his page or his program. What you know about living on the top? Okay, y'all, so our work day is ending. Um, this is our late night, and we're getting ready to go. And as y'all can see, I done got a dress for the gym. Um, so I'm gonna leave you straight here and head to the gym. <clears throat> and yeah, y'all, something funny happened today. So, um, one of my coworkers, we always have like this debate. He's thinking about starting um a podcast on YouTube as well. Um, but anyways, the debate today that we was talking about was so funny. I'm gonna tell y'all about it. One second. Okay, y'all. So what I was saying was today. <laughs> okay, so today our debate um it started what's the lady name that be on Instagram? I don't know. Kendra G. Kendra G. So it started I was just reading between the lines because y'all know I read between the lines. Um him and another coworker they was talking about Kendra G and he was talking about how lady um if y'all don't know who that is, um y'all probably do. She real famous on Instagram and he said she also have a YouTube, but I always see her on Instagram. She like a love um matcher or whatever matchmaker or something like that. But he was saying the show that he was watching a lady came on um she lied she lied about being single she lied about the amount of children that she had and all of that and so um he was just talking about it and so i'm just listening i'm reading between the lines because i've noticed you know working alongside my co-worker that it's something about women with children that he's not attracted to or whatever so i was just like uh he said you know i guess the lady husband came on and just kind of blessed her the next day was saying well she lying she don't have two kids she got three uh she's still married she went through a divorce and i was like so i mean i wonder why she lied and he was like oh because you know uh people may not like her what did you say don't know why the reason why you think she lied she trying to portray something she's not basically. Uh, so that's what he's saying. He's saying she's trying to portray, portray something that uh you wanna be right? Yeah, I'm about to sit down with you. Okay. Cause we finna we finna talk about this. It's just a mini debate. Cause I already told him you starting the pockets, but we be debating all the time. Come over here on this side. What you got on your wall? You don't have nothing on your wall? I might need to go get a stool then. Okay. Okay, and we also have let me say your name, Tamika. Yes, I'm okay, we also had Tamika in, in the room with us. But uh so just so Tamika just uh walked in the room with us. So what it was, like I said, um he was just saying the lady got on the uh you know the single um podcast or whatever she do, um and she basically lied about how many kids she have. What did you say? She um she had said she had two and she really had three. Um and then she said she was single and she was really married but still went through a divorce. And I was just like, dang, why she lied? Because if she matched them up, you gonna have to eventually tell the truth anyways. And then Donna was saying, why you say you think she lied? Because she was trying to portray something she wasn't. So that's what, that's what he said. And I'm like, to me, you know, mother of four, I'm like, what's wrong with having three kids? Like, what's the difference? You got two, you got three. You know, and then I was just, she, and Donna was talking to another coworker. And I just said, in my opinion, Donna thinks a woman with multiple kids can't find a man basically and what? no so it's not okay so I, I wish i had the camera out earlier so what did i say Donald? What, what was my opinion about you basically that kind of that because he kind of mentioned it though because what he's saying Okay, so Donald is the type of man who will provide, um, you know, likes to take care. And he likes his woman to, you know, kind of just be chill, relaxed, and accessible. And I said, you know, what it is, they can't have too many kids. I don't care what you say. 
Can they have too many kids? No. Not even over one. One is enough. one is I think that's what I said. I saw I wasn't wrong. Enough. I said in my opinion, and, and okay, and that's that's what he like. But he also spoke for other men that provides. And can you tell them why you think that men who provides don't like women with children, nor women, nor women who work. I said, provide, <laughs> so let's, let's say this. <laughs> provider males mm -hmm. prefer women to have less kids over a woman to have kids. Why? Because at the end of the day, if it's a provider male, mm -hmm. he's thinking about he has to provide. So if he has to choose between two different women, mm -hmm. he's going to choose majority of the time the one with less kids. And right? I see. Go ahead. And I said, but what about the women? Okay, for instance, myself, because he was like, just take yourself out of, but I'm a part of that. But what about the women with multiple kids who's who's grinding and doing and take, we good before I even meet you. You know, so I want to know what about those women? I'm not no woman who's sitting, sitting around at home, um, waiting on government assistance, don't have nothing going for myself and looking for a man to take care of us. I'm not doing it. So what about that type of woman? Now, you know that woman is different, though, right? Not that either. woman is not the same as what another, you but that woman is not the same as another woman. You know that, right? Ha okay, but but right. I still have multiple kids. Uh huh. So with having that type of woman who is independent and take care of their own business and their own children, mm -hmm. does a man become intimidated by that? That's what I said to me. That's, that that's exactly that what I said. Is? No, not that's at all. That's exactly what I said. Not at all. Your your independence doesn't matter. Okay. Like I, I don't. I said that though because but, the reason why we seeing eye to eye, she wasn't even here on the earlier. But what I'm saying is, a man don't care about your independence. You, they don't. But you remember when we brought this up earlier because, um, because the other coworker was saying, what if the woman, like, is it because they making money? You said you want your woman to be accessible. Is that what you said? Yes. And I said, okay, I understand. But what about the women who? Because you was like, are you going to take, good? you asked me, well, like, okay, you, you working, you're not accessible, are you going to pay all the bills? And no, I'm not going to pay all the bills, but like, what if a woman got goals of her own? What if they don't want to sit around and be accessible? Like, is it intimidating? Okay. It's, it's not intimidating, but at the same time, if you want a certain man, he wants something. I don't think all of them. I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to tell you from a man's point of view. So like this, what? let's say this, let's say, I'm, I'm going to break it down like this, mm, right? Please. A man, if his mindset is a provider meal, mm -hmm. right, he's going to take care of all the bills, right? Mm -hmm. He's not counting on your money at all. That's fine. So you can be a doctor, a surgeon, a fucking scientist, But you're not going to be whatever. accessible if you all a day. Exactly. So, so mean, he would choose, majority of men that's a provider is not looking for your financials, your right. education. Correct. He doesn't care about none of that. Mm -hmm. He's looking for you to get on his page or his program. See what right? I'm saying? So if his it? program, if his program is I want my wife to raise the kids and be at home and stuff like that, he's gonna try to make as much money as possible to accommodate that. I'm Not coming to wait, wait, coming <laughs> to the doctor, surgeon, scientist, mm -hmm. or whatever who's working 16 hour days and mm -hmm. shit like that. Guess what? Her attention and focus is not on what he wants. So you seen so that's what I said earlier. So a man who provides it, that, like he said, they're mainly looking for that woman with no kids, the one with one kid who who don't have nothing going for themselves. Not, so you put you make they it, can't have nothing going for themselves because they have to be tender, ready but you to know, serve. Listen, you. listen, no, you making seriously. it negative. You making it. Negative. You coming from no, the no, 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 that's wait, wait, wait. not negative because it seems like that's what it is. If a, if a woman, if, if she has all those kids, but she's that standard that you want someone who is accessible, why does she need? He don't want to take. He don't want Because the work thing load. is, you're doing. Why are you working? Right. Let's make that clear. Why are you working? To provide. Okay. Now nah, the thing is, let's say your <laughs> husband, right, is working and he's providing, right? right? So. Let's say he wants you there with your kid, not at work, All right? So you're going to put your kid in daycare or something to go what? You're going to put his kid in daycare to work at a job, a career? You'll do that? If he wants you to be a stay-at-home mom? You're not saying it right, though. Yeah. But, okay, but what if she, right. what, what if she want both? Why not have a woman with multiple kids? That's, that's the whole thing. Because it's an expense. At the end of the day, he has to calculate, right? I'm not saying multiple kids are 
a bad thing, but that's a calculation. Well, why not come into the mindset, okay, if you have this woman, she already has a mindset of a go-getter. And we already it doesn't, it doesn't matter because so like, you don't have day, to worry if you about have multiple excuse. kids and I'm coming along or whatever like that, I have to take that consideration because I can't just date two. I have to date the kids too. That's I have to cool. provide. So let me ask you a question. If I met a woman that has four kids or whatever <laughs> and I'm coming over, That's right, me. and I only bring her food and say, fuck them kids. They ain't my kids. No. It's it's it unacceptable. Is, yes, it is. So I have to, you know, deal with your kids, right? So, but if you're See, a boss, saying, like you say you're a boss, you but it should matter I, the number no. of children that yes, someone has if you love that person. Yes, it does because I shouldn't have to deal with Why should I have to? Okay, matter of fact, let's make it, let's break it down like this. Mm -hmm. If I have one kid already, uh -huh. like I do, right? Let's say me and you got together and you have four kids mm -hmm. and I don't have no kids mm -hmm. or one kid or whatever like mm -hmm. that. And then we had a kid together. Now right. we have five kids. Right. right? Mm -hmm. At the same time, mm -hmm. I have to take from see. my one child mouth mm -hmm. or whatever I got to provide for him and true. split that between four yeah. other ones. But look. My, now, now, let's take it in a child oh. perspective, right? Mm -hmm. Now he's like, that's my daddy, mm -hmm. right? Is your other kid's daddy giving my child something for his birthday, Christmas, anything like that? Yeah. So my son is going to be looking like, well... So you saying a mama with a... Okay, just because the mother is not with that child's father, I mean, he's not providing for his he, kids. But his kids. But what I'm saying is... But whatever say, come into, the, into our household, if we're together, that's for all the kids, yes. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Yes. So, and so it's my income. So let me ask you a question. So let's say we had a kid together, mm -hmm. right? And I'm like, okay... I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars from my son, or whatever like that. You got you the gonna, wrong mind frame when you wait, did wait, wait, wait. that. Why? Because you gonna split you that thousand. You can't say my nothing when we came together. It's these kids. You know what I'm saying? Only time it's separated, honestly, is when you separate. Yeah. Let me give you an example. Remember that guy that brought his kid McDonald's, yeah, and, I a remember girl was, yeah. and a girl <laughs> was upset viral, right. because she was like. Why you didn't bring the other kids McDonald's? Mm -hmm. But they he wasn't even a father. Together, though. Right. They weren't but even together though. They wasn't. Yeah. But that was his kid. Mm -hmm. His mind said, "Well, I'm about to try to treat my kid to some food." You should have. Right. But she your was kid, like, treated them and yeah. brought them back. That part. Yeah. Um, they weren't together either though, so you can't really use that. Um, because it's not the same. But it's my man instead of mm -hmm. her only buying his biological child yeah. something and not yeah, all I, of us. Yeah, yeah, I get that. So that, that but look, but look. Don't if you look at it though, the what where I was coming in at, it ain't like I'm sitting at home with five kids with nothing going. So when when a man meet me, yes I have children, yes their dad is active. Not only is he active, he is contributing. Plus I'm pulling my own. So she done doing good, you know. Like mm -hmm. okay, the person is doing good. I'm taking myself out of it. They doing good before you met them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're not expecting you to. Now, if you come in and you be a provider, it's not going to take all from you. That's taking on a lot because she already got her thing going. You're not That's taking exactly. me off somebody's couch with all the kids and that. taking and over agree. all of them. You're saying I, he was stopping that as soon as you got four kids. No. What oh, I'm yeah. saying is... He don't want nobody with no, kids. No, but I'm saying so I he's agree. He's saying a regular provider man don't want a woman with, with that, I'm not that, saying that's it's it a was. calculation he has to do. Because okay. at the end of the so day, there, if he has to... No matter what pick, she has, no matter none of that. I know you're not looking at that, but you also, you're looking at her children. Her children are dependents. So no, they already her, there. Her, a woman's child is an expense. It's a liability. At the end of the day, your children is not an asset to a man at all. And, and that's a lot of people don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. Somebody else's kids are liabilities. They're never assets. Yeah. So what if they uh the kids' fathers? You just not with the kids' father, but what if they're active? They pick them up. They provide. They put money into their household for those children already. But you would still they judge you. me if okay, right? Your father, your child's father is great, right? But at the same time, you would still judge me or look at me some type of way if I only worried about my child and, and if not we was together, else. you would judge me as if I come in and feed mine and say, wait on your rich daddy. Right? Would that, you not judge me? You true. somewhere working and all that. Your baby's still at home waiting on his rich daddy. You know, like, you don't make a difference in a kid. A kid is a kid. Mm -hmm. So, rather you want to take $5 and we go get a box of nuggets and they split it. Or you want to take a hundred dollars? You know what I'm saying? That's how you do with children. Children are children. They, you know, they they get treated as such. You know, I don't think that'll be a factor. It's not a bigger expense. No, it's not. 
what we're gonna divide this among the children we're gonna treat them all the same okay and Correct. I, and I agree with you on that. it's not but what I'm class. saying is when you have children right mm -hmm. you have to understand that if you're not with that child father and mm -hmm. something happened you having children doesn't make you attractive, attractive okay. to a man. All right, it makes you, you less attractive at some point. He said you less attractive when you have And I'm going to explain. Okay. You're yeah. less attractive than your younger self. I'm going to compare you to yourself. Right? Look, you say, yeah, I know young people with more children than me. I know, but take that younger person, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. who has however many kids, and take that younger person themselves mm -hmm. when they didn't have kids. Mm -hmm. That person that had ki without kids is way more attractive than you them to themselves. <laughs> Cause some men and they like a woman because I know some boss men with money who can take care of everything, but they like to see a woman who got some drive by herself. You know, who's not sitting like, around. Every waiting. man, listen. Every man likes a woman that has drive got they shit together, ambitious and shit like that. We're not saying we want our woman to just be on the couch. So in order to build something, you're not accessible no, 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 all no. the time. No, no, no. Accessible is like this, right? You work at a job and mm -hmm. you got to get a job so many hours, mm -hmm. but you're also a nurse, mm -hmm. right? A man can take that and be like, listen, Rashina, your main job, you don't have to work that no more. Mm -hmm. I'm paying all your bills and shit like that. You, mm -hmm. if you want, work on a weekend or start a business. Mm -hmm. Now you're accessible right. to him. So now when he say, hey, let's go to Turks and Caicos Wednesday or something like that, mm -hmm. we can go because you don't got to put in time. You don't have to do anything. You and I don't have go. no kids, right? Or if you Look, did have kids. Wait, but even, <laughs> but even if you did have kids, uh -huh. but you're still accessible. A yeah, man, but like, a man even, like that wants his woman to be accessible right. when he wants So they don't want no woman the who got stuff want no woman to be accessible. That's the main, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, that's the main thing they look for. Mm -hmm. They don't want a woman that have to always be at work when they always at work. And then, right. I'll talk back to the kids who have to deal with children. Or you just saying kids are expense. You don't think kids is taken away from being accessible? They is. Oh, they are? Because at the end of the day, let's so say I didn't have... I'm yeah, standing by and everything. I'm saying, because... Look at it like this, right? If you have children, mm -hmm. right? We have to find a babysitter. We have to do there's certain steps we have to do because we can't just get up and go because okay. we got to think about kids. And, yeah, that's true. But then, like, at the that's same time, but remember, I was like, shoes, when your kids is a certain age, you know what I'm saying? You establish, you still can be accessible. My kids is straight, but you, you know what I'm but, saying? But you great. I tonight, but, you, <laughs> but you great. But, what about the woman that's like, I can't go out with you or I can't go on category, a date? I'm not, though. I didn't. But look at the woman and say, I can't go out with you because I don't got a babysitter. Or I, or... My baby's 10 years old. So but she, she only have one, now. though. So, Big Bang Hank, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? What would you do? If The I, person that you, yes, the person that you dating, she have one kid. Yep. She's accessible. She don't have it, a babysitter. I'm paying for it. Most definitely. Where we gonna find me? Uh, what is it called? <laughs> the, same, the same place I'm looking for. The same place I'm looking for my nanny. Listen urban, to that. listen, urban sitter or something dot com. Yeah, chair dot com or whatever like that. We gonna, but then my mindset is: Is she gonna be like okay? Is some women to be like, well, I don't know this yep, person. I was just for say, I just then, say you, you know what I do. You know what I do. Mm -hmm. You can't pay your family members. I'll send them a hundred dollars or whatever like that. I like it. So he, so, he, he be on top of it. Yeah. Uh, but, but then yeah. if she's like, well, I don't have no family members, I'm like, okay, at this time, I can't do nothing with you because mm -hmm. you're not a successful woman. I want to go out on a date yeah. because you have other obligations, which is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying if you have too so many more obligations. So why you can't get the, uh, give the, the woman with multiple kids and work that same chance? It's like you gave this person, you offered this, you offered no, this, no, no. and you was like, okay. I would give everybody the same chance, mm -hmm. but if you can't deal with me because of your previous that's not on me mm -hmm. whatever decisions you made in life because i gotta i gotta be accountable mm -hmm. i got a son i'm not perfect i ain't a man that right. don't have kids right i had baby mama drama and stuff like that so i have to be accountable for my life mm -hmm. and a woman gonna hold me because a woman be like i don't want him i don't care how much money he has he has a kid. got too much drama like he, he, you he, can have he, one he, and, <laughs> and he got it he has a kid right. and i'm automatically cut off because i have a child right at the end of the day i gotta suck it up cool i ain't tripping about it mm -hmm. you ain't the one for me but i'm not walking around just because i have a child and be like well 
you should still date me when you don't got no kids. Yeah, I actually I let a woman saying. go because we was fucking around and she didn't have no kids. Mm -hmm. She was one of my chicks in college and I had to let her go because I'm like, listen. She didn't understand she didn't your understand uh, duties as a father. She didn't understand it. And I'm like, listen, great sex, everything. But at the same time, I'm in a <laughs> situation. That's listen, how you about. I'm, in a, I'm in a situation <laughs> with this woman. Mm -hmm. I don't really know her, mm -hmm. but it's about to get ugly and it's unfair to you. Okay. She already wrote all these messages on Facebook. She didn't did all this drama. It's unfair to you mm -hmm. and you don't have she no kids. You in college. Yeah. You got all this stuff going on and I already know it was about to be hell. Mm -hmm. So I had to cut her off. Even though I really liked her, I had to cut her off. So like, you listen. let your past interfere with what you had going? Because at the end of the day, I had to pick my child before her. Is the child or the mom? The child. Okay. Right, not the mom. Mama come with it automatically, yeah. unfortunately. So I already knew it was about That's to be drama. That's another subject, right? So yeah, I already knew it was about Ooh. to be drama. So I'm you like, you correct that, and you know you put that in place. Uh, you know, hey, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. So the more the, what we was trying to get to was basically, I'm putting myself back in there. He's saying that I'm less attractive. Um, <laughs> 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 my my chances on getting a man with money, which my boyfriend has money, uh, he met me with my children. He has children of his own. Um, he don't mind feeding them all and me either. Like he he like a woman with some going. I still have time for him. He have time for me. You know we ain't trying to be up under each other, but we do meet in the middle and we bring to the table. You know, so I guess it all just depends on that man mind. You know, he love kids, you know, some people love kids, you know, so it's not, it's not all about that. And like, I have been approached by many of people with money, you know, it's like, that's, that's not, I understand where he's, where he coming from. But at the same time, if you a boss like you is having to having extra set of mouths to feed, it's nothing to you, you know, like that's but nothing. At the, but at the same it's time, it's not a one size fits all though. The bill but, still got the same bill, still light, still going to be on, still water, still going to be the, about the same, you know, like a couple of extra kids is not going to change that light bill or that rent, you know. But guess what? At the same time, we have to look at it from the other side. And a lot of times the disconnect is people don't take themselves out of the conversation. Mm -hmm. They, you... How can I say? A lot of people think they're special, right? Yep. I don't think I'm special as a man. Mm -hmm. I don't walk around in the world like I'm better than other yeah. men out here. I'm not yeah, special. I'm just a regular guy, mm -hmm. right? Being regular and dealing with regular females, <laughs> <She's special. laughs> a, lot of, a lot of women feel they're more special than they are at the end of the yeah. day. And at the end of the day, so many women want a certain type of man. I think that's how, that how we man, get into want something i think that's what he brought up earlier and that's all i'm saying that man that a lot of women want mm -hmm. want something and if he has to choose he's going to pick a younger you a uh, you that have less kids he don't pick have you. as much going now you can't say that though yeah because he don't have as day, much going because he don't themselves. give a fuck about that because like really though to me what i said earlier though to me i said i feel like they choose that type of person one who needs to depend on them rather than somebody who got mm -hmm. something going because they have more control oh, over yes, them yes that's what i said earlier that and, and it's true and, but i'm not saying being a strong working woman with a lot going that you wouldn't be submissive but it's like i feel like they feel okay you need me i can control you Most definitely. See, see, and that's, I, that's a, why i say it's intimidating but no that's a mindset right a mindset we don't we don't true. know <laughs> see, no because you yeah, can't say that because you have to understand woman. that mindset right you have to just be a because man and deal with a but we woman. can't judge right. a person if you don't know a person right mm -hmm. that's where we don't you just can't because almost you're not judge in that, them based but off if you're not in that situation right if you're not in that situation they mind, they then you can't it. judge just right. like a lot of people can't judge housewives who never been a housewife. Mm -hmm. and thinking it's easy to be a stay-at-home wife. Mm -hmm. I could bring in a stay-at-home wife and she can tell you how hard it is being a stay-at-home wife. Hi, right? All right. So hey, it's, right. it's a lot different oh. being that. Yeah, right? up. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to finish off. Okay, okay y'all. Yeah. So this is just kind of like what we be doing sometime at work. Um, uh, My friend Dono here. Yeah, we just be talking up here. That's my friend. And then y'all know my best friend to me. <laughs> but like... um. 
we might uh well he's supposed to be starting a podcast and you know we just we really just be messing with him he'd only mail around here but uh again his point Taking of view on brain. a lot of stuff yes um but um we waiting on him to start his podcast but yeah we might do late night wednesdays some sometimes Ooh, yeah. sometimes yes, um so we'll see how this video do or whatever and then Y'all comment down below if y'all want to hear other little topics. Because we do it all the time at work. But, you know, it have to be after hours. Um, So, but, yeah. uh, Thank you, Donald. Thank you, Tariq. <laughs> y'all can go to the gym. <laughs> all right. Okay, y'all. So, I done made it to the gym. I can say I have a little bit more energy than the last past few days. Um... So, but I have been sitting out here for a little while looking at YouTube, but I'm finna ready to go in. I have to force myself to go in, to be honest, because like, I'm still a little bit tired. But, um, I noticed that work, I did have a little bit more energy and all of that, so, yeah, it's already like 8 o'clock. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm finna go in and probably get on this elliptical. Yeah, I don't even think I brought my um, headphones, but I did find this one in my armrest. This is the one um, I ended up losing one of them. One of them the last time I was on a treadmill, but this one was still work, and I guess it beats having nothing. I just hope I can hear good off this one headphone or whatever, because I think I left it in my big gym bag after I said I was gonna leave it in the car. Anyways, I need to go in here. Like, I am really dragging. And I want an energy drink, but it's like 8 o'clock. So, that ain't going to do me no good. I'll be up all night. <sighs> Anyways, y'all. I've been doing really bad these days. past two days. Like I said, I've been sleeping and eating. Sleeping and eating. Uh, probably the last three days. Um, but I did end up... I, only missed the gym two days in a row so far so i need to get in there today but yeah oh shoot let me go